I am asked about tripods often. And while I haven't used all of them, I do have a number of tripods. These are the ones that I find myself reaching for on a regular basis. I'll tell you what the tripod is and what I like to use it for and what I don't like to use it for. If you're new here, hello, my name is Lee. I make videos on any topic where you might have a camera in your hand, or in this case, on a tripod. <laughs> and that includes things like practical gear reviews, travel, technique, and inspiration. Subscribe if that sounds interesting to you. Let me start by telling you why I use tripods. Purpose makes a huge difference in what you choose to purchase. So I want to lay the groundwork with that so you know where I'm coming from with these choices that I've made. I've made videos about photography on YouTube for well over a decade, and I've been a photographer for even longer than that. However, I didn't really start using tripods on a regular basis until I started making videos and doing self-portraiture. At first, I used the most inexpensive tripods that I could find at the big box store, and they worked great. But when I started doing video in the field, especially when hiking and astrophotography and when I started traveling more, I just needed a more robust solution. And of course, my partner in life and in photography, Raymond, may need a tripod for whatever we're doing as well. So I've used all sorts of tripods, but I've mostly held off on spending a lot on tripods because I just never saw the value for what I did. I did actually spend more on a tripod recently, which I'll get to in a minute. Before we jump into the tripods, I would like to thank KEH, who is kindly sponsoring this portion of the video. If you are not familiar with them, KEH buys and sells used gear. I use KEH to sell my own gear and I have purchased used gear from them as well. They even have a significant stock of tripods. <laughs> For me, the process of selling my pieces of gear one by one through other methods became a chore with non-paying bidders and scammers just costing me more time and money than it was worth, which is how I came to start using KEH in the first place before I ever started working with them. The process of getting a quote online or through a virtual appointment is quick and easy. <laughs> Purchasing used gear from them is easy as well, and you receive what you expect as advertised. I don't take sponsors unless I truly like the company. In this case, I was using KEH before they contacted me about working together. Likewise, I don't join many affiliate programs, but this is one that I wanted to take part in. That means that if you use my links and codes, they are in the description of this video, to buy or sell, you get a discount off of your purchase or a bonus on the sale of your gear. And then I get a little commission. It's one thing that helps keep this channel up and running. So thank you to those of you that use those links. Okay, let's look at some tripods. Let's rip the Band-Aid off with the most expensive tripod I have ever owned. The Peak Design Carbon Fiber Travel Tripod. I thought about this purchase for quite a while because it is an expensive tripod. However, Peak Design specializes in making things that are very, very practical. They don't value engineer their gear, but they do engineer it for maximum efficiency and usefulness, and I appreciate that. I actually also use their neck straps, but this tripod is different from anything that I had seen because when folded up like this, it is very sleek. The outside lacks anything that sticks out. For me, that means that I can take it out and put it back into my pack very easily. I can't overstate the importance of that for me. It means that I'm actually using my tripod in the field a lot more than when I was using other tripods. I'm getting shots, both photo and video, that I wouldn't have before because I wouldn't have wanted to wrangle my tripod out of my pack. I was also attracted to the single adjustment for the ball head and the weight as well. And there's also a way to take a portion off the legs and put new feet on, and it actually halves the weight. Because I hike a lot, this was very attractive. I've used this for everything from astrophotography to long exposures to video. I've never had any issues with it. Another tripod that I use a ton that is not next to me because it's being used right now is this big and heavy Amazon Basics tripod with a pistol grip ball head. It's my favorite for filming in the studio because I appreciate that it is quick and easy to adjust with the pistol grip ball head. 
This generally lives in the studio, but I do also like it for astrophotography for the same reason. It's nice to have a simple way to adjust when you're standing in the middle of nowhere in complete darkness. <laughs> The tripod is very heavy and it does not collapse down very small, so I don't hike with it, but the weight does give me confidence when I'm leaving an astrophotography time lapse out all night. This thing isn't going to get blown over. Speaking of astrophotography, when Raymond and I go out for a night of astrophotography, or even when I'm just testing numerous pieces of gear, we often bring several cameras. And we've certainly had five or six going at one time. And we have a number of tripods from different brands that are all built similarly with a one or three knob scheme for adjusting the ball head. This is a couple of them. Some even also convert to monopods. These are a combination of tripods that I've purchased and also ones that I've just received from companies. They generally all cost under $100 and they range in weight, height, and capacity. My reason for showing you these is that they are not expensive tripods, but I have used them for all sorts of things. Most are just fine with a camera and a large telephoto lens, and they've all been fine for astrophotography, for time lapses, for video. If you don't have the need for a super lightweight tripod or one that collapses down to a certain size, as long as you look at the weight capacity, you should be fine with just about any tripod out there. And the last category of tripods I will show you today are the smalls. <laughs> I have a variety of small tripods. I use them in all different situations when I either have a tiny camera, like an action camera or a compact camera. So I'll do a quick survey for you. These are from Joby and these little ones are from Lytra and Insta360. I even have a few ball head attachments that work well with these. I can say that these Joby tripods are handy because the legs are so adjustable, but they don't seem to last all that long. The leg joints do tend to break after a while or just become loose. I have continued to purchase them though because of their flexibility. This tripod is my current favorite of the tiny tripods and it is from Slick and it has a ball head and a tripod plate. And this one can actually hold an interchangeable lens camera. You'll notice that it has a Tokina logo on it, and that's because I received it from Tokina when I borrowed a couple of their lenses. I have enjoyed using this hiking lately because it is sturdy and I can keep the plate attached to my camera and it, it's pretty quick to get the shot and move on. It certainly wouldn't be used for, you know, a big telephoto lens, but I did recently use it on a hike with my Leica SL2 and the Sigma 28 to 70 millimeter F2.8 contemporary lens, and it worked perfectly. So there are certainly a ton of options out there. I own a bunch of different tripods. This isn't even all of them. I have been curious about some of the more expensive options and I've been tempted by gimbal heads, but I've just never quite found the justification to purchase them. Since I saw that KEH has an entire tripod section, it would definitely be where I would look first for those more expensive items. They don't just have the super expensive ones though, they do have a good variety and range of prices. It will definitely be less expensive to purchase used no matter your price range. And whether you are purchasing used or new, there are so many options out there that there is certainly something right for you. Hopefully seeing my collection has helped guide you a little bit. My question is, what do you use now? And what is your dream tripod setup? Let me know in the comments. And if you have questions about tripods, ask away. If I don't have an answer, maybe someone else in the community does. Thank you to KEH for continuing to support this channel. And thank you for watching.